everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy and welcome back. Today we're going to be covering PHP increment and decrement. Just create a variable called points here and set it equal to 10. Now below this, we're just going to print out points. Then save your file and run it. You'll see that 10 was printed out. If we come below points and we set points, eh, drew an S there, drew. <laughs> if we do points is equal to points plus one plus one, there we go. Then when we print out points, gonna save it real quick. Then when we print it out, you'll see that it is 11. And we could do uh, like five here, save it run it and you can see that points is now equal to 15 because it was originally 10 and then we added points which is the variable of 10 to we added 5 to it okay but let's just for this lesson all we want to do is increment by 1 so what this lesson is going to teach you is how to eliminate this line altogether if we just remove this we can do print points but what we do is we add two plus symbols addition symbols right there before it at the beginning then we hit save then we run it you'll see that it added one two points all right so that's cool but what if we did subtraction and we save it and we run it you'll see that it subtracted one from points before it printed it out now, if you wanted to print out the current number that it's on, then subtract a number. So come right here, we subtract one after we put it at the tail end. And when we save it and we run it, you'll see that it still says 10 here. But what if we come below this and we hit print points below it? Then when we save it, and we run it, you'll see that nine was returned. So what I'll do to separate these is I'll just print a new line here. Save that, run it. And you'll see that a 10 is returned, that's this one right here, and then the nine right here is returned. So it's printed this out first, then it's subtracted from the variable, and now points is equal to nine. So the very same thing is true if we come up here and we make this addition it's going to add one to it. So 10 after it prints it adds one to it. Okay, super simple, makes things a lot easier and it saves you time because you don't need an extra line. All right, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do like the video. If you have any questions, ask those below. My name is Jake from Wild Academy and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to get the book as well because I know some people have been putting it off and then they forget about it or they get busy and then they forget to sign up for the list and then they end up not getting the book for free. So um, make sure to get on the list and then you'll get it for free.